yes good evening everyone good evening i hope you could hear this, hear me properly and uh, can see the screen clearly okay let's wait for one minute for all to join Okay guys one minute for all to join Okay guys one minute for all to join I hope now everything is fine no echo my voice is clear yes good evening shivani good evening I hope nothing is there each and everything is fine the voice is clear no echo the video is clear am i for everyone on the session is every yes thank thank you everyone so today we are it's not lecture number 3 it's lecture number 4 and today we are going to begin with body fluids and circulation that is a cardiac cycle systole and diastole yes ramen so if you have any doubt regarding any portions just ask me don't forget to ask me okay so let's begin with the topic So today we are discussing. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. Today we will be discussing about the topic cardiac cycle. Okay, today we will be discussing with the topic cardiac cycle. And look, guys, clearly how the heart, human heart is shown. Look how clearly the human heart is shown. Here you have what? Guys, give me hearts on the screen if everything is fine. give me hearts on the screen is everything is going fine look guys right atrium this is a human heart right atrium right ventricle then left atrium left to ventricle yes aorta pulmonary vein pulmonary artery clearly shown yes so that is all about the heart and this is what we discuss in the morning class today and now we are going to continue with the cardiac cycle okay one second let me hand it over yes fine and perfect moving on with the cardiac cycle is our topic yes guys in the morning itself i told you there will be slight issue with the slides because some collage and something happened i don't know what's the reason behind that something happened to the slides some slides are uh, not complete also okay so anyway just listen i'll be using the ncert also to explain to you so our topic is cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle it is a cyclic contraction and relaxation of the heart for pumping of blood the contraction the cyclic contraction and relaxation the cyclic contraction and relaxation is called cardiac cycle okay so for the what is the use for, uh, why is it needed it is for the pumping of blood in order to pump the blood we are using the cardiac cycle look guys this is the right atrium clear diagrams coming up right ventricle left atrium left ventricle and look at each diagram carefully guys the blood from the upper part the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body comes to the right side of the heart that is from the lower parts also comes to the right atrium of the heart there you have a valve guys name the valve on the chat box the valve that prevents the backflow of blood on the right side of the heart is known as in the morning i give you a clue also to remember yes roshida no issue tell me the valve that prevents the backflow of blood in the right side of the heart is known as yes it is yes rather it is the tricuspid valve so this is a tricuspid valve so the deoxygenated blood is flowing from the right auricle to the right ventricle from the right auricle to the right ventricle name the artery that carry yes else are very good hope you are understanding hope you will understand okay i'm getting i'm 
summarizing everything. Yes, Nila and Shivani, tricuspid. Guys, name the artery that carries the deoxygenated blood. Name this artery. This artery that is carrying the deoxygenated blood. So, right ventricle is filled with the deoxygenated blood. So, deoxygenated blood is entering. Deoxygenated blood is pumped to the lungs with the help of which is it artery. This is the vena cavae, superior vena cavae, and this is the inferior vena cavae. Yes, absolutely, Shraddha. This is the pulmonary artery. This is the pulmonary artery. And after purification, after purification, what happens? The oxygenated blood is released to the right, not right, left to ventricle. Sorry, left auricle from the lungs. So this is from the right lungs, the oxygenated blood coming to the left side. And this is from the left lung, the oxygenated blood is coming to the left side. Tell me, guys, name the valve present over here. Name the valve present over in the left side of the heart. Left side of the heart contains a valve and it is known as. Tell me. The valve present on the left side of the heart. So after this, soon after this class, you will be having the result publication. Yes, absolutely. Shraddha and Rushita. It is the. Bicuspid valve. It is. By. Bicuspid valve. Can any one of you tell me the other name for bicuspid valve? Other name for bicuspid valve. Guys, tell me. I'll be back in a minute. Yes. Other name for bicuspid valve. Yes, no one. No one knows the answer for the question. Another name for bicuspid valve. Guys, am I audible or else you don't know the answer? Absolutely, Shraddha, it is a mitral valve. Guys, we discussed in the morning session today bicuspid or the mitral valve yes so the oxygenated blood from the left right auricle comes to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle passed on to the iota okay passed on to the iota just leave all those things come back to the today's topic that is the phases of cardiac cycle okay it is a phases of the cardiac cycle so there are three phases of the cardiac cycle. First one is the joint diastole, then atrial systole, and next one ventricular systole. Just study this order. This order you will not found in your NCRT. So just by the side you have space. Just write down the order in your NCRT. Joint diastole. First one joint diastole, then put an arrow, atrial systole, then put an arrow, ventricular systole. Yes, come on, everyone. Come on, everybody. Come on, guys. Have you all written it in your NCIT? Joint diastole followed by atrial systole, then ventricular systole. Okay. So next we are going to discuss in detail about this each term. First is the joint diastole. First is the joint diastole. Guys, can any one of you just come and me? What do you mean by systole? What do you mean by systole? And what do you mean by diastole? I'll give you two minutes to answer this question. Just two minutes. Just two minutes to answer this question. What is the difference between systole or diastole? Any one definition, any one. What do you mean by either you can come in me what is systole or you can come in me what is diastole? Yes. Yes. Answer the question, guys, fast. Systole is the contraction phase of the heart and diastole is the relaxation phase. Absolutely. So, very good, Shraddha. 
systole is a contraction phase of the heart diastole is the relaxation phase of the heart this is the thing which you know from the lower class itself we studied this right so systole is the con absolutely roshita it is the systole is a contraction phase of the heart and diastole is the relaxation nila not in the class where is nila no common scene yes systole is a contraction phase of the heart and diastole is a relaxation phase of the heart so joint diastole means it is a relaxed state of all the heart chambers that is all the four chambers of the heart are in the relaxed manner all the four all the four yes nila okay okay all the four chambers of the heart are in the relaxed manner when the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves open blood from the when tricuspid and bicuspid look when the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve open blood from the pulmonary vein and vena cava flows into the left and right ventricle yes else it is systole means when heart pumps blood diastole means when heart receives blood absolutely another set of answer very good so when this is the next step so when tricuspid and bicuspid valve open guys just imagine yourself the blood the right side and the left atrium the right atrium and the left atrium will be filled up with the blood right so when the heart relaxes when the heart relaxes what happens the pulmonary vein uh, not pulmonary vein sorry the right and the left valve that is the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve open they also relax that means they also open and what happens from the right side of the heart the vena cava pours out its blood into the right side of the heart and the pulmonary vein passes out the oxygenated blood into the left side of the heart at this particular stage when the semi lunar valve are closed so when the tricuspid and the, you will tell that as cuspid valve okay tricuspid and bicuspid valve together known as a cuspid valve when the cuspid valves are closed semi lunar valves will be open when the cuspid valves are open semi lunar valve will be closed and what is the condition here what is the condition here guys so from the vena cava you will get the oxygenated blood over here on the right side of the heart and from the pulmonary vein you will get the oxygenated blood from the pulmonary vein you will get the oxygenated blood on the right left atrium so when the tricuspid this is a tricuspid valve is open so the blood can easily flow into the ventricle right side also bicuspid sorry left side also bicuspid valve is also open so the blood directly moves on to the left to ventricle okay so here the cuspid valve that is both the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve are open bicuspid and tricuspid valves are open that means what semi lunar valves remains closed can you see the semi lunar valves are opening over here no the semi lunar valves are absolutely closed look the semi lunar valves are closed look the semi lunar valves are closed okay so that is the case with the joined diastole what is the joined diastole joined diastole it is a relaxed state of all the heart chambers here the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve open to pump the blood from the right auricle and the left auricle simultaneously into the ventricles and the semi lunar valves remains closed give me hearts on the screen till now if you have understood the meaning of joint diastole yes give me hearts on the screen give me hearts on the screen everyone if you have understood the topic of joint diastole yes nila what about others any doubt you can ask me right now no delay roshida shivani yes shraddha elsa shivani anyone else seven people are over here where is roshita yes yes thank you so much moving on with the next topic after joint diastole what was the next stage tell me after joint diastole what was the next stage yes raman yes very good what was the next stage i asked you to write a flow chart on your notebook or your ncert textbook after joint diastole after joint diastole what is the next stage that is going to occur yes absolutely it is a atrial systole 
and guys tell me guys these are all incomplete over here i'll tell you the points guys tell me what is atrial systole what do you mean by atrial systole tell me what do you mean by atrial systole atrial systole just one minute to answer the question just one minute yes what do you mean by atrial systole from the term it's very clear what do you mean by an atrial systole what the contracting phase of the atria you will call it as the atrial systole the atria contracts which you will call it as the atrial or auricular systole yes so what happens is that the sa node guys what is the other name for sa node what is the other name for sa node comment me on the chat box yes sa node other name yes atria contract at the same time absolutely shraddha i hope what i am telling is receiving to you a little bit later only and your chats is received by me a little bit later only that's the issue no issue i'll wait guys tell me what's the other name for sa node SA node or pacemaker, very good, Roshida. It generates an action potential. It generates an action potential, and as a result of which, both the atria contract, the right side and the left side atria contracts. Yes, contracts, and that you will call it as the atrial systole. When the atria contracts, it increases the flow of blood into the ventricle by thirty percentage. So when at the first time, at the first time when all the four uh, chambers of the heart were in a relaxed manner, what happens? The blood generally simply flows, simply flows from. Guys, suppose, suppose I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Suppose you are taking a balloon. Suppose you are taking a balloon. Okay. Suppose you are taking a balloon. Okay. You are filling up this balloon with water. You are filling up this balloon with water. I hope almost everyone have played with this balloon. Yes, filling up water inside the balloon and uh, putting out on it a new frames or casins or whatever. Yes, I hope you will understand the meaning for this. So, when it comes, when it is in case of joined diastole. Okay, first it was not joined diastole. It was joined. Uh, yes, it is joined diastole. What happens? The balloon is in a relaxed manner. Is in a relaxed manner. That is, when you keep the balloon upside down, what happens? The water will flow from the balloon to the outside. Yes, the balloon, the water inside the balloon, just flowing out outside under its own pressure. But in case of the atrial or auricular systole, you suppose. You are pressing the balloon on both sides with your hand. You are pressing the balloon on both sides with your hand. Then what is going to happen? Yes, tell me on the chat box. A simple, a uh, general fact it is. Tell me what is then going to happen if you are going to press the balloon? Yes, Raman. Tell me the answer for the question. Just a simple question. When you are pressing the balloon on both sides of the balloon with the help of your hand very hardly, what is going? What you are going to observe? What changes is are you going to observe from the balloon? Tell me. A simple example to understand the diastole or the cardiac cycle. Yes, anyone can tell me the answer. What happens? No one knows the answer. What? Happen when a balloon is pressed from the two sides with our hand, the water is filled inside it. Then what is going to happen, guys? Just simply comment. Just simply comment. You're holding a balloon upside down with filling with water. The water is flowing, but now you have to. You are going to press the balloon very hardly. So what is going to happen? Yes, yes, it will burst sometime. Or what else? That's that was not the answer which I accept. Uh, what expected, guys? Just a simple answer. When you press the balloon from the both sides, more water will be pulled out. Yes, yes, water come out very fastly under high pressure. Yes, since in spite of the original pressure how which the water was flowing, we are applying an external pressure also towards it. So the water just flows with a 
flows out with a high pressure. Yes, it's on pressure and the pressure we applied on the both sides. So that is an example. So as a result, exactly like that, in the joint diastole, all the four chambers are in a relaxed manner. And the blood will flow in the same manner as how the water comes out through the balloon at the case number one. Elsa, have you understood? Understood? Shraddha, have you understood? Raman, Nila, have you all understood? You were not commenting. I should. I'm receiving the comment only from Roshita and Shivani right now. Have you all understood what I just mean? So joint diastole means how the blood was flowing in a very relaxed manner from the auricle to the ventricles on both sides. But. In case of atrial systole, what happens? The SA node generates an action potential. So an increased flow of blood. So the blood was continuously flowing. But when an SA node just sends out an action potential, the blood flows with high pressure. The blood flows with high pressure. The blood flow increases by 30 percentage. The blood flow increases by 30 percentage. This is a very easy thing, guys. Very easy thing. Next one is the ventricular systole. Next is the ventricular systole. And you know what happens in the case of a ventricular systole. What happens? Ventricular systole means the ventricles contract. Yes. So the action potential, the action potential is conducted to the ventricular side by the atrioventricular node and the AV bundle from the bund from where the bundle of his transmits it's to the ventricular musculature we already studied that the bundle of his along with the perkunji fibers the bundle of his just scatters all over the ventricular musculature at that result the sa node generates an action potential guys this is the sa node generates an action potential it is received by the av node from the av node it is passed on to the av bundle this is the av bundle to the av bundle from the av bundle it just moves to the both sides of the ventricle that you will call it as a ventricular contraction or simply the ventricular systole. Automatically, when the ventricles undergo systole or when the ventricles contract, the atria under, undergo what? Diastole. The atria undergo diastole at that particular instant. Hope you are understanding. Yes. This is something. The ventricular systole increases the ventricular pressure. The ventricular systole increases the ventricular pressure causing the closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valve due to which, guys, what happened when the cuspid valve closes, which valves are going to be open? Tell me. I told you that cuspid, it's really written over there. The cuspid valves will get closed. So which valves, which all valves are going to get opened so that the blood can flow through them? Cuspid valves closes, so which all valves are going to get opened in order to make the blood flow? It is the semilunar valve. It is a semilunar valve. It is a semilunar valve which is going to get opened. So, during the time you will be asked a serious and an important MCQ, an important MCQ from this slide. Which valves are closed during the ventricular contraction? Which valves are closed during the time of ventricular systole? What is the answer for the question? It is cuspid valve. Tricuspid valves and bicuspid valves are closed during ventricular systole. While the semilunar valves remain open at the time of ventricular systole. Nila, why no comments? Nila, why no answer for you? What happened? Are you there in the class? Or is there any network issue? So, what happens? The deoxygenated blood, the deoxygenated blood enters the pulmonary artery from the right ventricle and the oxygenated blood enters the iota through the left ventricle. Okay. So, the deoxygenated blood enters the uh, pulmonary artery through the right ventricle and the oxygenated blood enters the iota through the left ventricle when the valves remain open. When the semilunar valve remains open, what happens? The blood flows into the respective parts. 
Next is the ventricles now relax. Next stage is the ventricles relax. That is undergo ventricular diastole. Okay, okay. I, I was not seeing your comments. Yes, Nella. Okay, fine and perfect. I hope you are understanding. So now the ventricles undergo relaxation or diastole. Diastole means what? Relaxation. So the ventricles undergo relaxation causing the fall in the ventricular pressure. When the ventricular pressure reduces, closure of semilunar valve takes place. Closure of semilunar valve takes place. So no further blood to pulmonary artery and iota. But the blood flows from atria to ventricle. The cuspid valves remain open. And guys, when the ventricular diastole is similar like atrial systole, right? When the atria undergo contraction, ventricles undergo relaxation. When the ventricles undergo contraction, atria undergo relaxation. It's a simultaneous process. So you have to study during the process of ventricular systole, tricuspid and bicuspid valve gets closed and the semilunar valves are opened. During the process of ventricular diastole, semilunar valve gets closed and the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve gets opened. Are you all understanding? Till now, have you all understood? Till now, have you all understood? It's a long topic today. Have you all understood the topic start till now? Give me thumbs up on the screen, everyone. Yes. Next one. The ventricles and the atria again undergo a joint diastole. So it is a cycle, right? Cardiac cycle. So it is again the process is getting repeated. And the cardiac cycle is repeated. So a particular cardiac cycle is completed in 0.8 seconds. Very important MCQ. Very important MCQ. A cardiac cycle is completed in 0 0.8 seconds. Just 0 0.8 seconds. A cardiac cycle is completed. So a cardiac cycle is completed in just just how many how many seconds? It is just 0 0.8 seconds. So you have to understand right now. One heartbeat is equal to one cardiac cycle. So one heartbeat, we'll be just selling lap, dub, lap, dub. We'll be just counting, right? So one lap is equal to one cardiac cycle. One lap and one dub constitute a one heartbeat. Yes, that, that is a sound made by the heart. Lap, dub. Yes, one lap and one dub causes one heartbeat or one cardiac cycle. So the normal heartbeat of a person is 70 to 75 times per minute or generally in an average, if you ask, we'll be telling 72 per minute. 72 beats per minute, it is the average cardiac cycle or one heartbeat. Next is what are the different heart sounds heard? You will be asked a question. This slide is a previous year MCQ question. Name the first heart sound heard. First heart sound heard is the lab and lab is heard when when the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve closed at the beginning of ventricular systole. At the beginning of ventricular systole, what happens? The tricuspid and the bicuspid valve closes. And what happens? Lab sound is produced. Then the second sound heard is a dub sound. It is produced when the aortic and the pulmonary semilunar valve gets closed. And it is seen at the end or beginning of ventricular diastole. Guys, you know. You know. Atrial diastole or atrial systole. Guys, tell me. Atrial systole is equal to ventricular. Ventricular is it diastole or systole. Atrial systole is equal to ventricular. Is it systole or diastole? Similarly, ventricular diastole. Not ventricular. I'll write it. Similarly, when... Uh, sorry. Atrial diastole signifies what? Atrial diastole is equal to ventricular. Is it systole or diastole? Tell me the answer in the two cases. Systole or diastole. Atrial systole is equal to ventricular diastole. 
exactly like this atrial diastole is equal to ventricular systole so twisting questions may be coming so you can expect twisted questions also from this they will be asking you when tricuspid and bicuspid valve closes at which stage of the cardiac cycle it is a ventricular systole or another answer is atrial diastole ventricular systole lap sound is heard or the answer should be atrial diastole aortic and pulmonary semilunar valve closes at the beginning of atria uh, ventricular diastole that is equal to atrial systole that is equal to atrial systole okay so during each cardiac cycle two sounds are produced the first sound is a lap which is caused due to the closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valve and the second heart sound dub which is caused due to the closure of semi lunar valve one heart sound is equal to a lap plus a dub okay one lap plus one dub okay next one electrocardiogram or ecg F fantastic topic of this chapter ecg or electrocardiograph electrocardiograph guys whenever you are, uh, are supposed to draw an ecg what you will you will just draw something like this yes a small student if he just asks a six standard student or a 10 standard student to draw this uh, uh, to draw an ecg what they will just do they will just scribble the pen or the pencil just like some triangles and some grooves and grooves yes is this the way you also did is this the way you also did when you were small yes yes exactly like a mountain peak you will be drawing because you will only be seeing a graph like this and your mind is just adapted to that is ecg nothing more just some lines just like the mountain peaks and mountain grooves that is crest and trough that is the ecg nothing more but if i ask a 12 standard student 11 standard student a neat student to draw the structure of ecg what you are going to do what you are going to do this is actually one ecg after how many of you have did this after studying this how many of you i'm asking not to 2022 students some of you might not uh, taught you in your school you will be hearing this for the first time I'm asking to the other students after st uh, studying all these things in your school how many of you have checked out an ecg in your home or else if you have checked it in the net a picture of the ecg and identified all these peak urs waves when i was studying in my 11th standard when my teacher told i didn't believe for the first time i haven't seen at that time my uh, the thing that was in my mind was i haven't seen an ecg i have so, uh, seen so much of ecg but i haven't seen the peak urs waves over there 11th standard student is thinking like this okay peak urs wave i haven't seen all these things so what i did was at the day when my teacher taught about this cardiac electrocardiograph on my school i I came home and searched out the ecg i just plugged out an ecg from find it out an ecg from the home and i just looked whether i could when we clearly observe at that when we clearly look out for all these kinds of named waves definitely we will find it Def definitely we will find it there is just exactly like this you will find p q r s t wave definitely you will find it out okay back to the class so electrocardiograph it is an instrument used to obtain electrocardiogram what is electrocardiogram it is a graphical representation of the electrical activity okay it is the electrical activity of the heart during a cycle to get an ecg a patient is connected with a machine with the three electrical leads one is attached to the right and one is attached to the left ankle that monitor the heart activity you might have seen in the films you might have seen in the cinemas the films yes just like this just like this anklet right you will one in the wrist one in the left and uh, left ankle and for the detailed eval one uh, two in the chest to detailed evaluation of the heart function and multiple leads is there any problem with the heartbeat they are finding out all these things through that 
Okay. So an ECG generally consists, an ECG mainly consists of the following wave. Exactly that is it consists of a P wave followed by a Q wave, then R, S and finally T. So what is P wave represents? Very important question. Need previous year repeated at least 50 times MCQ. And my guarantee 100% MCQ for NEET 2021. Okay, so P wave represents the excitation or depolarization of the atria, which causes atrial systole. They can ask you in different, different methods. They can ask you in different, different methods. What is P wave signifies? One answer, excitation of the atria. Second one, depolarization of the atria. Atrial systole, contraction of the atria. Four answers for P wave itself. So whatever the question comes in any kind of twisted manner, you are supposed to give out the answer for the question. Give me hearts on the screen if you are ready to answer all the questions. Yes? Any twisting question. So soon after this, you will have the top 10 contestants, top 10 students who have written the test. Mock test number two, you will have the fantastic result revealing. Sometimes it might be a recorded section. Sometimes it may be a live session. Anyway, before 6 o'clock, everything will be uploaded. Okay. So, next is the QRS complex. Next is the QRS complex. It represents the depolarization of the ventricle or ventricular contraction or ventricular systole. Can any one of you tell me who would be the top scorer? Who would be the top? Can you please give a guess? Everyone, just everyone in the class, give a guess who is going to be the top. Who is going to be the topper for the neat mock test number two? Just guess out your name. No issue. No enmity. Nothing over here. Just a friendly talk. Just guess out. Okay, Shraddha was selling Dr. Juhi. What about others? Everyone is going with that or anyone has any other suggestion? Okay, unanimous answer, Dr. Juhi. Let's see, let's see. Twist is there, okay. Everything is there. I was proud of correcting your this time paper. I thought this paper would be difficult and only few people will show. Yes, Roshita is telling Shraddha. Okay, Roshita, try to attempt the next exam onwards. Okay, it's very, it will be really, really useful. Really useful, absolutely advantageous only for you. If you just spend 30 minutes. Okay. So take down seriously for the next time, everyone. I thought this time everybody everybody would be getting very low marks because the question from bio I thought to be tough. Okay. But uh, was so happy. Was so happy to correct out your paper. But felt a bit sad when correcting some of your papers. A bit sad while correcting some of your papers. I expected, I expected a little bit more marks, but they didn't reach up to my expectations this time. Why? Because they attempted so much negative mark. Guys, from the beginning till the end, no negative mark. This is the only thing which I was telling. No negative marks. Stay away from negative marks. Results in huge loss of marks. Negative marks made the differences. Only very few differences. One or two marks differences between the first person and the second person. Second and third, only two marks. Then... Slight differences only, guys. So, Amal sir will reveal everything. Next is the T wave. What does the T wave represent? It represents a repolarization of the ventricle. Repolarization of the ventricle. Any deviation in the ECG indicates the abnormality or a disease. So, if any abnormality is there in the ECG, if there is any difference in the ECG, what you would conclude? Where is Nila? Nila is not. No comments. Or else I am not receiving the comments. Yes. Any deviation from the ECG indicates there is an abnormality or a disease. So ECG has a great clinical significance. This is a previous year board question. This is a previous year board question. Any deviation from the ECG causes. And match the following question also for NEET exam. What is the clinical significance of ECG? That was a question for your board. 
and for the neat exam match the following deviation in the normal ecg represents then it is an abnormality or a disease next is the double circulation next is the double circulation we are just moving a bit slow next is double circulation till 5 o'clock 2 minutes more and i'll be continuing up to there double circulation is a circulation in which the blood flows through the heart twice for completing its circuit look at this diagram the blood flows through the heart twice it includes a pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation pulmonary circulation means from heart the deoxygenated blood goes into the lungs for purification and systemic circulation means the blood the oxygenated blood from the left side of the heart to all other body parts indicates systemic circulation is that they are the two different kinds of circulation pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation first one going to discuss in detail about the pulmonary circulation circulation between the lungs and the heart the circulation between the lungs and the heart you will call it as the pulmonary circulation here look at the step guys take a screenshot for this i hope shraddha is making the pdf that would be really useful for others also okay so the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle is pumped to the pulmonary artery to the lungs and to the oxygenated blood is pumped back to the left atrium through the pulmonary vein so this much is the pulmonary circulation so deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle passed on to the lungs for purification and from the lungs the oxygenated blood comes back to into the heart left side of the heart up to there you can have the what pulmonary circulation next is the systemic circulation next is the systemic circulation so it is a circulation between the heart and the various body parts what you can see the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle is passed to the aorta aorta passes into the artery then into the arterial capillary tissue you have when you uh, okay capillary then tissue then all the deoxygenated blood from the tissues will be passed on to the venules veins vena cava into the right atrium so the steps taking part from the oxygenated blood from the left side of the heart comes back as deoxygenated blood on the right side of the heart up to there you will call it as a systemic circulation the systemic circulation provides nutrients oxygen and other substances to the tissues and takes away carbon dioxide and other substances for elimination i hope the circulation between lungs and the heart is called the pulmonary circulation pulmonary lungs systemic all the body system so all the body system and the heart is systemic circulation together constitutes the pulmonary and systemic circulation double circulation and what is double circulation double circulation means the blood passes twice through the heart the blood passes twice through the heart understood up to pulmonary and systemic circulation yes so from the hepatic portal system i just plan to take out till the disorders today but from the systemic circulation and the lymphatic vessel then functions of lymph and the disorders of the digestive system we'll take it in the next class okay guys bye bye because you have a result declaration we have to go with its preparation okay so stay tuned with our telegram group within 10 or 20 minute 10 or maximum 15 minutes will come out with the result declaration fine stay tuned thank you everyone hope you all just enjoyed and uh, studied something new from the session good luck everyone just work hard just use a day productively bye bye guys take care see you in the result declaration ceremony